Hey everybody, Brian Alvarez here and I am excited to talk to all of you today. Thank you so much for watching my show. I really appreciate all of you that are watching. A few things happened this weekend. Um, you know, this vlog is going to be a little different just because um, very significant things happened. Um, actually, just one thing happened on Saturday that kind of set the tone for the weekend and I felt that it wasn't necessary for me to vlog about my adventures. I, I think it's better for me to talk about what happened and uh, just share my thoughts with you guys. So this vlog will be a little different. I do apologize if you're expecting something else, but this vlog will be a little different. On Saturday, March 31st, um, I believe in the morning, my very good friend, uh, Pastor Heber, passed away. Uh, he's up there right now having fun in heaven. He's having a blast. And, you know, it's one of those things where... Um, None of us were expecting it. None of us, you know, were, were waiting for something like this to happen. Um, it's very unexpected. It cut us all off guard. And, you know, Pastor Heber is one of the very few people in my life that actually impacted my life. I've had a few mentors. And trust me, I've had some pretty gnarly uh, mentors as well. Um, and anyways, I'm not going to get to that. But... Pastor Heber was officially my first mentor. He was. Um, when I first came to that church, um, to his church, he took me under his wing. He, you know, invited me over to his office, you know, I think once a week. And we would just sit, talk, grab dinner, and just talk about God, talk about life in general. It was great. And I, at that time, I needed someone like that. And then moving forward, he discovered that I had a gift to lead and direct and write stories and whatnot. And he's like, dude, start a drama department, you know, get a couple people together and start making plays. I'm like, okay, cool, for sure. I did that. And guess what? Because of that, he gave me the room to work and to practice my craft, my gift at church. He gave me that space. He gave me that room. And not only that, guys, but when I did my first play, we did it on a, I think it was like a Saturday night, and it got, or Friday night, I apologize. It was Friday night, and it's church, so they have church, and most pastors would say, no, we have service, how dare you even use my day for service to do your own show? He said, we'll cancel service, we'll invite the community, invite other churches to come and participate. Guys, I was expecting to do one show, one show. It ended up playing twice that night. I think even three times that one night. And we had to do a second showing on Saturday and almost on Sunday. And he was okay with it. He was fine with it. He is the reason why I believe I jumped into the film industry because he allowed me to exercise my gifts. Not many people believed in me like that. Of course, my father and my mother, but for someone to give me the space to use their platform to exercise my gifts, guys, that's powerful. And that gave me that that niche. That gave me that, that desire to keep moving forward and, and do more. So Pastor Heber impacted my life. He impacted my family's life in such a way that my brother and my sister have taken their gifts as musicians and are still practicing it to this day. They've planted many seeds upon many other, you know, uh, young kids that want to learn how to play instruments and they're teaching. Um, my mom right now, she's a, a pastor. She's a senior pastor now at a church plant because of him. He gave her that platform to practice and, and speak to people. And now my parents are opening up their own church. And I would say it's because of him that he allowed them to have that platform to 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 experience it, practice it, and now they're doing it on their own. Guys, I learned a lot this weekend from reminiscing over the over Pastor Heber passing away. And it's this. Believe in people. Believe in people. And time is ticking. It's like a, a, a ticking time bomb, guys. Life it is a ticking time bomb. And if you don't do anything, I mean, I, I don't know how else to say it. it. It frustrates me when I see people wasting their time on pointless things. They spend their time complaining 
on social media publicly about how insignificant their life is. But guys, look how, look how really it is. You woke up today. If you're watching this vlog, it's because you're awake, you're alive, and God gave you that gift. Every day is a gift. Life is a gift, guys. And if you are not taking advantage of the gift that God gave you, it's quite disappointing. Every day is considered a gift. Do something with the 24 hours that God has given you every single day and impact somebody's life or impact your own life to set your future good, to set your future up for success. Guys, take advantage of every day. You never know what will happen the next day. And appreciate others too. This weekend, you know, again, thinking about Pastor Keeper and thinking even about my, my grandfather that passed away you know, two years ago, he set such a mark on people's lives that everybody will always remember my grandpa. I'm curious to this day if people will remember even what I'm doing, you know, throughout these vlogs, if people are going to remember what I'm doing, um, you know, with, with my little ventures, with Wedding Grid, with anything, guys, you have to think and consider this. How am I leaving my mark on earth? And what am I leaving people with? My grandfather left a legacy. He, man, my whole family is in the ministry because of my grandpa. We have pastors in the ministry, worship leaders, worship pastors, youth pastors. It's a it's a family of ministry. Why? Because my grandpa left that mark. Pastor Heber left a huge mark into my life. He believed in people and allowed people to have that opportunity to serve, to to work. And he gave that platform. He was not afraid of giving the, the, the spotlight to others so they can exercise their gifts so freely. So, guys, if I'm saying anything at all on this vlog is take advantage of life. Believe in others and practice love and kindness to others because guys life is a ticking time bomb and you never know you never know what will happen tomorrow you just never know tomorrow is not guaranteed to anybody thanks for watching my vlog guys i hope that this brought a little bit of value to your lives it's, it's it was a little different a little you know something that i've I haven't done in a while. You know, I've done a lot of B-roll for Disneyland and my adventures and whatnot, but I felt like this was necessary to speak to all of you about, you know, just some things that came up to me about life in general and really reminiscing over the loss of my good friend, Pastor Heber. Um, so my sympathies to the family. I love you all. The Alvarez family love that whole entire family so much. And just know that if you guys need anything, we're here for you. Um, this is my way of coping with it. This is my way of venting. And um, again, guys, um, take advantage of the time that you have available and do something that matters. Thanks for watching, guys.